In this video we are talking about the advanced envelopes entry. You see these two moving averages here. Whenever the candles are between these two lines, we don't have a signal. But as soon as they cross one of the lines, a signal will be generated here. And now we want to find out how we can create an entry module for the Forex trading framework that is able to trade the signal that is generated by the envelopes indicator. To do that, please click the little button here or press F4. Now you should see the Meta Editor. This is my main module. It's the Forex Trading Framework. This is the demo version from October 2017. In this part, it imports all the modules that are needed to handle the open trades. This part is to define your own trading risk. I have selected the risk value of 10. That is what I would consider to be a very high risk. The standard value is 1. And you can adapt the risk to your own account size. In this part here, we are going to import the check entry module for the envelopes indicator. And you might know what the onTick function does. In our case, it will check for an entry signal by calling the check entry function we are going to create. And afterwards, it's going to call the trade management of the Forex trading framework. Precisely, it will call the check for tick function and pass the signal and the trading risk that we have adjusted here. To create the check entry module for the envelopes indicator, please click on File, New, Expert Advisor from Template, Continue. I will call this one check entry underline envelopes.mq5, Continue, Continue, and Finish. And this is the file. It uses a string function to check the entry. And the first thing we do is to create a string for the signal. That variable will also be called signal. And we don't assign a value here because we are going to calculate it later. In the next step, we create an array by using MQL rates. The array will hold the price information that is on the chart. And with array set as series, we are going to sort our price information array from the current candle to the oldest candle. Now we copy the price data into the array by using copy rates for the current symbol on the chart and the currently selected period. We start at the current candle, that's candle 0, copy the value for 3 candles and store the result in the price information array we have created here. Afterwards, we need to create an array for the EA data. In our case, we need an array for each of the bands. So one will be called upper band array and the other one lower band array. These two arrays also need to be sorted downwards from the current candle. So we use array set a series for both of the arrays. The definition of the envelope CA is done by using the built-in function iEnvelopes for the current symbol and the current period. We will use 14 candles because that's what you see when you hold your mouse button above one of the two lines here. This parameter is for a shift. We don't need that. So it's zero. We are using mode underscore SMA to get a simple moving average. We use price underscore close to calculate the value based on the close price. And the last parameter here is for the deviation. If you click on insert, indicators, trend, envelopes, you will also see the deviation value here. Okay, let's copy the price info into the array by using copy buffer. For the upper band array, we will use the buffer with the index 0 from the current candle 0 for 3 candles. And for the lower band array, we will use buffer 1 
also from candle zero for three candles. And now we can calculate the expert advisor for the current candle by getting the value of candle zero for the upper band array and the value for candle zero of the lower band array. And when the last candle closed below the lower band value, we consider that to be a buy signal. And in the other case, the last candle closed above the upper band. So candle one in the price information array has a close price that is bigger than the upper band value. That would create a sell signal. If the last candle closed between the bands, we don't have any signal at all. So now we either have buy, sell or no signal. And finally, we need to return the signal to the main module. That can be done by using the return function. Okay, now that I'm done, I need to save the files. Make sure that I include the check entry envelopes module in the framework and recompile my main module here. I don't see any errors here, so now I can click here to go back to MetaTrader. And in MetaTrader, I pick the Forex trading framework, select a currency pair here and start a test. And this is how it looks like. Let's speed up the process. It still takes a lot of time to calculate everything. But you can see the first results here. And now you know how to create an expert advisor to calculate the entry signal for the envelopes indicator that can be traded in the Forex trading framework. Let's see if I can maximize the results here. So now it's up to you and you have coded everything yourself with a few lines of MQL5 code.